Hi everybody, it is Sunday, August 14th. We've got two more weeks left of the tour. We just drove last night from, um, where were we? Maryland, I believe. And we are now in Durham, North Carolina. We had about a 14 hour bus ride and we left at midnight and we just got in a little while ago. Uh, totally wiped out right now. I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna go out for a walk and just try to get some energy back. Uh, th those the travel like that. I mean, when people say to me, oh God, I love what you do. You, you're so lucky. Um, I wish I could do it. I wish they could come out and spend a couple of days with us and, and live the schedule a touring musician goes through because they're they, they're thinking of the stage and uh and the music and all that but boy that's only a you know a, a few hours a day maybe three four hours a day and the rest of it is just uh it can be really really grueling especially when you go out for months at a time but um at the end of the day boy when you're when you're doing the music it really it, it the scales of justice are really like that um, it's uh, it's a joy to be out there playing, and especially on a tour like this with an artist like Lyle and a band like the one he's assembled for this. Every day you just kind of sit there and go, "Wow, this is really amazing." But uh, but it gets it gets hard, boy. That the grind of the road. So we're here at, in Durham, North Carolina. We play tomorrow night. This this is how our day off is, has gone. Was this long drive? But at least tonight we can. Uh, sleep in a bed and not in, not in a bunk on the bus. <clears throat> um, but uh, since we're not working today, I don't have a, 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 a venue to take you on. I'll, fi I'll find out what that is tomorrow when I get there. <clears throat> Excuse me. But, um, so I'm gonna do a little music for you. And this is really different. This is really unusual. Um, I had the pleasure of working with this artist um, a, a few years back. I've done a bunch of projects with him, but then to do one of his own projects was really wonderful. And his name's Martin Tillman. He's a Swiss uh, cellist. And um, I'm gonna read just a little bit. I've got his bio up here, because it's he was born in uh, Zurich in 64 and came to the US in 88. Um, he, I mean, he's done commercials, films, uh, television, recording, uh, all kinds of recording, um, and he tours internationally. He got a master's degree in performance at uh, University of Southern California in 89, and he lives out in LA. Um, the album that um, I'm gonna be showing, uh, playing you some of the tracks on, we were all set to go to Europe and do this major tour with uh, orchestra over there and everything. Uh, and then at the last minute was when COVID hit. And uh, that was one of the things that was in my book for a really um, extensive tour uh, with Martin over in Europe. And then it all shut down immediately and they have not been able to reschedule it yet. Um, but hopefully in the future they will. But um, uh, let's, it's, uh, let's see, read a little bit more. Tillman wrote the score for the next Morgan Freeman, Clive Owen film call last night's. Um, he also scored uh, a smartphone app, um, uh, all kinds of stuff. But he, uh, uh, Michael Mann's movie Ali features some original instrumental songs from his album Eastern Twin. Uh, but he, uh, most of the work that I've been familiar with him uh, has been with Hans Zimmer. And uh, Martin composed and performed on scores for Total Recall, Bullet in the Head, Brave, uh, Brave Miss World, Admission, Super Hybrid, my Father, My Lord, Rush, um, Life in the Day, Cowboys and Aliens, The Dark Knight Trilogy, The Da Vinci Code, Angels and Demons, Prince of Persia, Pri Pirates of the Caribbean, Caribbean, uh, Black Hawk Down, The Pledge, Everlasting Peace, Mission Impossible, Hannibal. I mean, it goes on and on and on with him. <clears throat> we did the uh, 84th Academy Awards together. Uh, and he's also recorded, uh, been on recordings with Toto, Sting, Elton John, T-Bone Burnett, Alison Krauss, Elvis Costello, Beck, B.B. King, Air Supply, Tracy Chapman. I mean, it goes on. I mean, he's a, <clears throat> he's a really wonderful cellist and a wonderful composer. So we did this album called Superhuman in 2016, and that was going to be the tour that we did, was the Superhuman Tour in Europe. 
and uh, on the recording of it, he did. Uh, he worked with some uh, other people, and they did all of the um, orchestration and sequencing. But on the the um, uh, disc, uh, like on any of the sites, it's only listing the core rhythm section on it, and not. I don't see credits for uh, who worked with Martin on on the rest of it, which to me is is. I'm going to see if it, for any reason it's possible to nope there's nothing nothing more on that but the core band of this was myself on bass Vinnie Cayuta on drums the great Davy Johnston from Elton John's band um, on guitar and David Page on keyboards so um, this is real different stuff though um, the closest to this that I've gotten was when I did the ERA the era projects with Eric Levy and uh, we did a whole uh, a number of albums under that, and we toured with that. We went to Russia, um, and uh, it was it was an amazing experience. And this is in that genre. But uh, let me go ahead and play you a couple of things here because this was really a fun project to work on for us. So here we go. This one is called "Notes Towards the Universe," Martin Tillman.
I mean, it's so cinematic in its approach. I mean, you close your eyes and you can, you can, I mean, I could see aerial views moving through like the Alps and stuff. I mean, it's, I've always enjoyed being involved in projects like this, where it's, you're really, you're not playing a song per se, but you're really playing atmospheres. Um, here's one called The Invisible Shield of Strings and Bows.
like I said, it's just, it's so c cinematic. I mean, it really, you know, it harkens to so much of the work that Martin's done in, in, in all of the film projects that he's been involved with. Um, here's one called Cracked Diamonds. thing that's fun with Martin is when when he shows up to work um, where so many of the cellists they bring a cello and they play he he's deeply into uh, electronics and stuff so he's got a big pedal board and racks with all kinds of stuff and he can create some unbelievable textures and colors that you would never know were the cello um, just by the nature of, of how he can modify sound and work with it I'll give you one more. This is called uh, Future Downs. I'll give you this one here.
Superhuman by Martin Tillman from 2016. So, um, yeah, just, I mean, it's, it's, that's one of the, another one of the nice things about the gig I get to do is the variety of, you know, going from just a regular pop tune to, to something like this is, is always a really wonderful adventure for me. But uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get running now. I am, I am wiped out, and uh, I'm going to just go to get out and walk and try to recharge my batteries a little bit here. And, um, and then tomorrow we will see what the uh, venue in Durham, North Carolina is like, and uh, we'll jump in there. And, uh, and uh, I'm still going to get together with Russ. I'm going to get together with Yogi. I'm, I might give a, uh, do a one-on-one, -on -one, just a, a video talk with... Um, uh, Brad and uh, have him kind of talk about his career and, and the fact that how he's um, his past, what he's done, and how he's become you know the head of the uh, the, the saxophone department at, at North Texas and uh, fascinating guy. I really dig him. This has been a real bonus on the tour is getting to know these others players that I had never met before on here and. Uh, so it's been really good. So I'm going to wish everybody all the very best. I, I um, just take good care of them. I'm going to get them tired. I'm going to, I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye.